Hello and welcome to our today's stopover. Here I will talk about how I play on the theremin, vibrato, articulations, glissando, rhythm and dynamics or velocity. Vibrato is a speciality of the right hand. It is an oscillatory movement between two sounds, one little bit higher and the other one little bit lower than the main sound. It will sound like this. This is the main sound. How important is the vibrato? Well, it is very important. First to mention that it enriches the sound with overtones, so the sound becomes warmer and more pleasant to be listened to. Even more, the vibrato gives a certain expression to the sound, depending on what kind of music we play on Teremin, and what atmosphere and emotion we want to create. And last but not least, the vibrato helps us with the correct tuning of the sound we play. Articulation of the sound is about how the sound begins, how the sound is sustained, and how the sound ends. It is also about playing the sounds separately or linking them together. The sound can begin softly or sudden. The left hand is in charge of this. After that, the sound can continue flat or with vibrato. The end of the sound can be also soft, so we have the sound, or sudden. Let's play a sound with a soft beginning, vibrato, and soft ending. Now let's play a sound with sudden beginning, flat sustaining and sudden stop. Separate sounds would sound like this and it is the left hand who begins and stops the sound. Sounds linked together by a slur or a legato sound like this. Glissando is a slow movement between two sounds. I use it always in the first phase of my practice sessions because I need to feel the movement of my fingers and my hand while playing an interval. The rhythm is about the pulse and the specific length of the sounds in a musical piece. Practical is measuring the time with sounds. In my practice sessions, the second phase is about setting back the original rhythm of the piece. In this process, both hands are involved. Woo -woo 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 
Dynamics are about how loud or soft is played the sound. This is what the left hand must learn. In my practice sessions, I add dynamics and vibrato in the third phase after I feel confident about the first two phases. Our next stopover will be a practice session of Strangers in the Night, where I will give more details about my three phases of practicing. Thank you for following me and see you in the next video.